What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 1 2 Low Varsity Royal. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but to start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Air Jordan 2, Varsity Royal. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release August 10th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $150, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now look like they're going to be low retail at $96 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now, speaking of sizing, even though it doesn't say it on these sneakers at, at the time that I'm shooting this video, this is supposedly a woman exclusive sneaker, meaning that these only go up to a man size 10 and a half and under, so fellas, if you're 10 and a half and under, you can fit this sneaker. Now, if you look at the sizing on the sneakers app, it only says man size 10 and a half. So that's how I kind of got that tip right there. Vers versus doing a lot of research too, I did both where it was showing like women exclusive. It just wasn't saying it on the sneakers app, which is kind of weird. So I guess this is kind of for the ladies, but then guys, if you want to rock this shoe, by all means, if you're 10 and a half and under, go for it, right? Okay, let's just keep it 100. If you're like me, I am personally sick and tired, tired and sick of twos. Jordan Brand, not taking shots at the fans who like twos or the people who like twos, like all the sneakerheads that are into twos. But personally, bro, give us a two break, right? Okay, let us get a two break in my opinion. They're dropping them like, they're trying to force it down our throat, pause to make us like the twos. While we don't necessarily hate, they're just like a least favorite shoe. They tried it with tons of collabs and it's like, bro, those shoes may have sold out, but look what they go for on the resale market with the exception of like maybe one or two, no pun intended. But with that being said, here we are. We got the Varsity Royals, right? Okay, which is basically like a sports blue to me, right? Okay, and I feel like we've already seen this colorway on the two, but then again, maybe I'm tripping. But anyway, they're calling it these, these Varsity Blue, right? Okay, even for the ladies, right? I can see this being a nice summer shoe. I'm not gonna diss it. It's definitely a dope, nice summer shoe, but long-term longevity, man, to be honest, it's not one of those shoes that I feel like that's gonna grow over time as far as one of those like, man, I really wish they would drop those again type of shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dissing the shoe, but at the same time, it is a two at the end of the day, and it's a low. I don't know, man, twos for some strange reason, sometimes the images look great and then when i put them on my feet bro it's just like yo why did i buy these shoes again like no no disrespect to the shoe overall not a bad shoe at all again maybe for the ladies maybe with the right fit maybe with the right jeans right joggers maybe so right okay overall i will say this not a bad shoe but i personally want to write home about in fact if the shoe didn't exist I'm gonna speak for myself and you think about this too. If the shoe didn't exist, I personally wouldn't miss it, right? Nor would I request or try to design a shoe like this, right, okay? It's not, I don't know if it's the silhouette in general, which we can say that, right? I just think at this point, Nike and Jordan brand needs to accept that like, no matter kind of what touch or kind of colorway or what kind of, you know, customizations you try to do to the two, at the end of the day, it's still a Jordan two. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. Overall, still not a bad shoe. If you're a two fan, even though it seems like I kind of just trashed the shoe, um, go for it, man. By all means, go for it. But y'all know where I'm headed with this for the kid. Personally, these will be a skip. Not a bad shoe, just something I wouldn't write home about. Um, other than that, man, pretty much that's it for me, man. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this thing, man. Y'all sign off in the comment section if you will be going after these on August 10th. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.